speaking of Beckett transferring, this is something we touched on a little last episode, but do you think there are any other Cal players that would benefit from transferring? I think this is a complex question. Um, and there, there are a lot of levels to it, but for me, no. Um, I, I, I know why I can understand maybe why Beckett would transfer, but for me, no, uh, transferring doesn't make sense. How about, uh, no, yeah. Sim- How about we start with that? Did, did it for Beckett make sense transferring? Because I mean, he was, a, he was a Cal guy. He was, he was loved here. Fans absolutely adored him. Through. I, I would be walking down, I was walking down the ramp one time toward on t- uh, going to top dog. And there were three people like Cal's not even like a football city. Like you don't see absolutely. people in Berkeley, like Berkeley ain't a football you know, town fanboying over football players but there were three people who passed by Beckett and like either said good job in the game like things of that nature like he was loved here but he was I think it makes yeah it, it made sense for him you know he's getting old he's already 23 it was going to be his it is his sixth year of NCAA eligibility and as a grad transfer going to BC he has the chance to play which that's that's not guaranteed here and you know he's the type of guy that was probably going to go undrafted but with BC, he has a chance to maybe maybe improve his draft stock to a late round, like seventh round. And I wouldn't put that out of the question. So I, I fully respect his decision. Um, but I just there's no certainty there either. The season could get Absolutely. canceled at any moment. So Absolutely. Well, yeah, I, from, from both the medical and the draft perspective, uh, you want to be as healthy as you can for that combine. Uh, and so a spring season can hurt those opportunities to be healthy productive fall season can move them up draft boards. But for me, like I said, no, this doesn't make sense. Why? Because the ACC season, like you said, is still uncertain. It could still get canceled. Uh, North Carolina State and Virginia Tech uh, had a game postponed. It was going to be a season opener. And you, you're looking at week one. You you already have chaos. And I know I know the ACC and the SEC and the Big 12 have all come out and said they're going to do their best. They're going to have a season um, that projects like a veneer of certainty. But the fact is, if we've seen one thing in this pandemic, is that nothing is certain. I would not yeah, be I, These players are absolutely taking massive gambles. Like, absolutely. Transferring in any capacity is risky. But transferring now, I mean, it's, it's also just as much of a gamble to stay as it is to transfer. That's but, true. You know, with him going, does that open the door, do you think, for other players to follow suit on Cal's roster? This is a tricky question. We talked about this last week. This team feels very close. Um, a lot of the guys who might, a lot of the graduate transfers, uh, they've been here for a while, but I could see some guys going. And again, it's a, it's a short-term versus long-term evaluation. It's the certainty that even if maybe the next season doesn't get played out, it will start. You'll have, you'll have a chance to put up some numbers. You'll have a chance to get in there. You'll have a chance to play football, which you love as a player. And I got to respect that. Uh, I, can see, I can see other six-year seniors, Deontay Johnson, those six or your senior on, on the defensive line, he can maybe move. Jake Kern is an offensive lineman who will graduate in December. If things are still uncertain, then he's a draft hopeful. He could maybe sneak into the seventh round if he has a productive season somewhere. So I think there certainly could be more players transferring. Uh, we so can my, see a- my thing with that, though, is then again, I, I also thought this about just in general, which is why Beckett's transfer caught me by surprise. But I think I feel like those type of players – if they were going to transfer, they would have done it already because the season starts in a couple of weeks. And if you're not coming for the start of the season, like I guess they're banking on next season or spring season, but that's that Cal's in the same boat then. So like, what do you, what do you gain from that? 